<laughs> a young married couple faces financial struggles, unable to pay their mortgage. They discuss options and agree the woman will work as an escort for a few weeks. She tells the first client that it's going to be $200, but the client only has $80. She agrees to give him a BJ for that amount. When she sees he has a massive 9-inch tool, she tells him to wait right there, runs back to her house and asks her husband, do you have $120 I can borrow? What does the employee at the sperm donation center say to clients as they are leaving? Thank you for coming here. What does the same employee say to the next client? Please come again. Bob rings the doorbell at the house of his friend Mark. Mark's hot wife, Michelle, opens the door with nothing but a bathrobe on and tells Bob that Mark is still in the shower. Bob looks at her, thinks long and hard and says, if I give you $200, will you drop your bathrobe? Shocked, Michelle responds, no. Bob tries again, okay, okay, sorry. What about $1,000? Michelle thinks about it and finally says, okay, she drops the bathrobe. Bob has a long look and gives Michelle the $1,000 before leaving. Michelle quickly put her robe back on. After a minute, her husband Mark comes out of the bathroom. She tells him that Bob was at the door but left. Mark responds, oh yeah, he was going to stop by. Did he give you the $1,000 he owed me? A male whale and a female whale see a fishing boat. The male whale recognized the ship that caught his dad whale a year ago. He asks the female whale, let's both get under the boat, blow air out of our air holes, and it might topple the ship. They go ahead and do it with success. The fish boat sinks. However, the seamen from the boat manage to swim away, almost reaching shore. The male whale, disappointed that they might get away, asks the female whale, let's catch them and just eat them up. But this time, the female whale doesn't want to join in. Look, I did the blow job just like you asked, but I really don't want to swallow the seamen. A teacher attempts to teach third graders about the human body, so she shows a drawing of the male reproductive organ and asks the class what it is. One of her students, Bobby, answers, I know, my father has two. Teacher, really? How does he have two? Bobby, the skinny one comes out when he is in the toilet. The fat one comes out to brush my nanny's teeth. Sir Lancelot lived in a kingdom where the queen had very large breasts. One day, he shared his deep desire to fondle the queen's precious jewels with the queen's servant, Sir Wallace. Sir Wallace mentions that he might have a solution for 100 gold coins. Sir Lancelot quickly accepts the offer. The next day, Sir Wallace discreetly adds itchy powder to the queen's bra before she gets dressed. A few minutes later, the queen starts to feel an uncontrollable itch. Sir Wallace offers the perfect remedy. One of the knights, Sir Lancelot, has saliva with incredible healing power. Sir Lancelot needs to kiss and lick the queen's breast for an hour for instant relief. Desperate, the queen accepts, and Sir Lancelot gets to work. After an hour, the queen feels much better and profusely thanks everyone. However, Sir Lancelot refuses to pay the 100 gold coins. Furious, the next day, Sir Wallace slips a large quantity of the itching powder in the king's underwear, making sure both the front and back of the underwear are covered. In the morning, the king immediately summons Sir Wallace for help. Unaware that her daughter is hiding in the bedroom closet, a mom brings a lover to her bedroom while her husband is at work. Her husband arrives home unexpectedly, forcing her to quickly hide her lover in the same bedroom closet where her daughter was already hiding. The little girl whispers, it's really dark in here. The man nods. She adds, look at my doll. The man unenthusiastically looks at the doll. The girl then says, my dad is just outside, wanna buy my doll? The man says, fine, I'll buy your doll if you keep quiet, how much? Taking advantage, the girl replies with a big smile, $100, and the man has no choice but to pay. Weeks later, the same thing happens. The little girl says again, it's really dark in here, followed by the same, wanna buy another doll? The man declines until the girl hints that she might reveal their secret. The man hastily asks, How much? 250, says the girl, with an even bigger smile. Days later, the dad is playing with his daughter, but notices some dolls are missing. The girl proudly says she sold her dolls to a friend for $350. It's not fair to take advantage of your friends, the dad says. It's almost as bad as stealing. You'll confess on Sunday when we go to church. On Sunday, the girl heads to the confessional booth. It's really dark in here the girl says. The priest responds, 
Ooh, don't get this started again. The 19-year-old daughter of a French woman confides in her mom that she has a positive pregnancy test. The mom panics and demands to meet the father. A few hours later, her daughter's boyfriend arrives in a shiny Mercedes, wearing a luxurious Christian Dior suit. He joins the mom and the daughter and reassures them, do not worry, while I cannot raise this child, I fully commit to supporting you financially. I will give you $2 million and one of my mansions. The mom, pleasantly surprised, warms up to the idea. She asks, what if they are twins? The man responds, if they are twins, you will get $4 million and two mansions. Very interested, the mom now asks, what if the pregnancy fails? The man hesitates. He asks, what do you think I should do if that happens? The mom gets closer to the man and whispers in his ears, you fuck her again. The other day, I went to visit my friend who'd recently broken his leg at his house. When I arrived, I met his two older, beautiful twin sisters at the door. I went upstairs to see my friend, and after talking for a bit, he asked me to get his socks from the laundry room downstairs. On my way down, I noticed his twin sisters sitting on the couch, trying to have a laugh. I sat down next to his sisters and told them, your brother asked me to come down here and make love with both of you. No way, one twin said. Prove it, the other demanded. I yelled back upstairs, hey buddy, did you mean both of them? Of course both, he emphatically replied. What's the use in fucking one? A man books a hotel room while traveling for business. He asks for a room with a king bed, and he's given the keys to a nice room on the 21st floor. Exhausted from the long day, he immediately falls asleep on the bed. Around 2 a.m., he is woken up by three beautiful girls coming into his bed. Confused and happy, he sleeps with them. They are gone before he wakes up, and he can't believe what happened. He sees a week later that his card was never charged for the stay. Three months later, he's coming into town again for a conference and decides to try the hotel again. He requests a king bed on the 21st floor and goes up and settles in. Just like the first time, the three girls come into the room at 2 a.m., and the man has the best night of his life. The next day, he can't keep the juicy story from his boss while at dinner. He explains the 21st floor and how he hasn't even been charged for the night. The boss decides he has to try it for himself and goes to the hotel the next night. The same thing as always happens, and the boss is thrilled. In the morning, he tries to pay for the room in cash at the front desk. No worries, sir. You'll actually be paid for your stay, the receptionist says. $200 for booking with us on the 21st floor. People always love new faces in our X-rated movies. A man is working out at the gym when he sees a pretty woman waving at him. Hi, do I know you? He asks. I believe you are the father of one of my kids, she says. He immediately panics, thinking of one vacation to California where he had an affair eight years ago. No way. Are you the woman that I slept with all night on the boat docks after we took all these drugs on the beach? Confused, she says. No, I'm your daughter's teacher. A sad looking man walks into a bar. He looks so down, the bartender asks him, why the long face? The man replies dolefully, I just found out my wife is sleeping with another man. I've decided I'm going to drink myself to death. The bartender is concerned to hear this and tells the man, I'm sorry, but I can't help you kill yourself. I wouldn't be able to live with myself. The man asks him, well, what would you do in my situation? The bartender thinks for a moment and says, Honestly, if I found out a guy was sleeping with my wife, I wouldn't sit around feeling sorry for myself or drinking myself to death, I'd kill the guy. The man leaps from his stool and shouts, Hey, that's a great idea, thanks! And runs out of the bar, leaving the shocked bartender behind. A couple hours later, the man walks back into the bar with a smile on his face. The bartender is nervous now. He's afraid to ask, but eventually says, Did you kill the guy? The man says, no, I slept with your wife. Whiskey, please. I was talking to a feminist today when she told me about the Dwayne Johnson rule. I'd never heard of it before, but apparently in order to determine if a particular comment is appropriate to say to a woman, you should first ask yourself, would I be comfortable saying this to Dwayne Johnson? If not, don't say it. I thought this sounded like a great rule, so I told her, your chest is epic. A woman was in bed with her lover when she heard her husband opening the front door. In a panic and realizing there was no time for her lover to get away, she said, hurry, stand in the corner. He did so, and she quickly rubbed baby oil all over him, 
and then dusted him with talcum powder. Then she whispered to him, don't move until I tell you to. Just shut your eyes and pretend you're a statue. At that moment, her husband walked into the room. What's this, honey? He asked. Oh, it's just a statue, she replied as nonchalantly as she could. The Smiths bought one for their bedroom. I liked it so much, I got one for us too. No more was said about the statue, not even later that night when they went to sleep. Then around three o'clock in the morning, the husband got out of bed, went to the kitchen and came back with a sandwich and a glass of milk. Here, he said to the statue, eat something. I stood like an idiot at the Smiths for three days and nobody offered me so much as a glass of water. A man is visiting his elderly father in a care home. The man asks how his father is settling in. Oh, it's wonderful, son. I've made some great friends. I'm well rested, and at night the nurses give us a hot chocolate and a Viagra before bed every night. When leaving, curious to know about the Viagra, he asks a nurse. Excuse me, my dad told me that you serve him hot chocolate and a Viagra before bed every night. Why? The nurse replies, Oh, the hot chocolate is to help them fall asleep, and the Viagra is to stop them rolling out of bed. Joe wanted to buy a Harley motorcycle. He didn't have much luck until one day he came across a Harley with a for sale sign on it. The bike looked better than a new one, even though it was 10 years old. It was shiny and in great condition. He buys it and asks the seller how he kept it in such great condition for 10 years. Well, it's quite simple, says the seller. Whenever the bike is outside and it's gonna rain, rub Vaseline on the chrome as it protects it from the rain. And he hands Joe a jar of Vaseline. That night, his girlfriend, Sandra, invites him over to meet her parents. And naturally, they ride the bike there. Just before they enter the house, Sandra stops him and says, I have to tell you something about my family. When we eat dinner, we don't talk. In fact, the first person who says anything during dinner has to do the dishes. No problem he says, and in they go. Joe is shocked. Right in the middle of the living room is a huge stack of dirty dishes. In the kitchen is another huge stack of dishes. Piled up on the stairs, in the corridor, everywhere he looks dirty dishes. They sit down to dinner, and sure enough, no one says a word. As dinner progresses, Joe decides to take advantage of the situation. He leans over and kisses Sandra. No one says a word, he reaches over and fondles her breasts. Nobody says a word. So he stands up, grabs her, rips her clothes off, throws her on the table and screws her, right there in front of her parents. His girlfriend is a little flustered. Her dad is obviously livid and her mom horrified when he sits back down, but no one says a word. He looks at her mom. She's got a great body too. Joe grabs mom, bends her over the table, pulls down her panties and screws her every which way, but loose right there on the dinner table. She has a big orgasm and Joe sits down. His girlfriend is furious, her dad is boiling and mom is beaming from ear to ear, but still. Total silence. All of a sudden there is a loud clap of thunder and it starts to rain. Joe remembers his bike so he pulls the jar of Vaseline from his pocket, but as he stands up, the father immediately shouts, okay, okay, I'll go do the fucking dishes. A blonde walks into a dry cleaners and tells the woman at the counter, I need to have an outfit washed. The clerk was busy and slightly distracted, so she looked up from her work and said, Come again? The blonde said, No, it's toothpaste this time. I was walking down the street when I was accosted by a particularly dirty and shabby looking homeless man who asked me for a couple of dollars for dinner. I took out my wallet, extracted $10 and asked, If I give you this money, will you buy some beer with it instead of dinner? No, I had to stop drinking years ago. The homeless man replied, Will you use it to go fishing instead of buying food? I asked. No, I don't waste time fishing, the homeless man said. I need to spend all my time trying to stay alive. Will you spend this on hunting equipment? I asked. Are you nuts? replied the homeless man. I haven't gone hunting in 20 years. Well, I said, I'm not going to give you money. Instead, I'm going to take you home for a shower and a terrific dinner cooked by my wife. The homeless man was astounded. Won't your wife be furious with you for doing that? I replied, don't worry about that. It's important for her to see what a man looks like after he has given up drinking, fishing, and hunting. Having been playing outside with his friends, a small boy came into the house and asked, Grandma, 
What is it called when two people sleep in the same room and one is on top of the other? His grandma was surprised to hear such a forthright question from a six-year-old, but decided to answer as honestly as she could. Well, she said hesitantly, it's called sexual intercourse. Oh, okay, said the boy, and he ran outside to carry on playing with his friends. A few minutes later, he came back in and said angrily, Grandma, it isn't called sexual intercourse, it's called bunk beds, and Jimmy's mom would like a word with you.